We're, uh, we're back here again today. We're going to be doing another uh, tarp and fly. Today we're going to be doing this uh, EP tarp and shrimp. So great little fly for tarpon. You can throw it for snook, redfish, you know, really whatever you want. So we've got this uh, tan uh, Danville 140 denier thread. We're going to start out with a uh, Gamagatsu SL12S one knot. The first thing we're going to do is just go ahead <coughs> go ahead and just lay down a little base of thread for ourselves here all the way back to the bend of the hook this fly we're going to be using a lot of uh foxy brush on this fly today so the first one we're going to use is this orange foxy brush to help us make a egg sac here on the back of the fly so go ahead and get that tied in right here on the back Move our thread out of the way. And we're just going to do about three wraps of this right here on the back of the fly. You, know, you really don't want to do more than about four. Oh, that was three. Let's do four on this one. Four is probably about the most you ever want. You just want it so when this uh, fly gets wet, you know, this orange is just showing through the, uh, the back of the fly a little bit. It's not a uh, it's not a completely necessary step, but I think it does help uh, entice fish a little bit more. You know, yeah, it's just a little something something to fly. We'll go ahead and cut that out of there. We'll tie back up on it. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little foul guard for our uh, rabbit strip. So we'll get, this is a 30 pound Mason hard mono. Great stuff if you're not using hard mono on your flies. I mean, you're really just making yourself have a tougher time. Again, this isn't completely necessary, but you know, everyone hates it when a fly foul. So all we did was take our pliers, we mashed down one end of the mono. We'll hold it straight on the hook here and we'll tie in right on that piece that we mashed down. Just making sure we keep that straight. So mashing that piece down to really just make sure that your thread is something to bite on. That way this isn't just gonna pull right out on you. So make sure it's nice and straight on the hook. So it should be going just straight back with that curve. Next thing we're gonna do is grab our uh, Magnum Bunny Strip. We're gonna use this uh, this tan barred brown here. And we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna tie it right here on the back of the fly. Get it nice and secured. Perfect. And then we're gonna take our uh, botkin. And we're just gonna poke a hole about an inch behind where we tied it in. Just get that hole in there. And then all you gotta do is just take your mono and poke it right up through that hole. And kind of just measure, you know, how much of this mono you need. Cut out your excess. And then come back with, with your pliers again and mash down this other end that you're gonna tie in. This way your fly is never ever going to uh, have this rabbit foul on you. The worst thing you could do is throw this to a school of uh, tarpon and have it just all fouled up and screwing up on you there. There we go. Then you can make this, uh, you can make the tail of this fly as long as you want. I like to make it about as long as I'd make a uh, uh, tarpon toad. I mean, once you break this fly completely down into its basics, really that's what it is. It's tarpon toad dressed up to look like a shrimp. So, all right. So now we're going to move back to our foxy brush. This is a uh, uh, EP uh, foxy brush in coyote tan. So I like to start with the coyote because it's got these uh, black tips on it, which really helps. 
And this is the uh, the 1.5 inch brush. We're gonna tie that in. And we're gonna do about three wraps of this brush here. Just right, right in front of where we tied our, uh, our rabbit in. So we get one, two, three. This is doing a couple of things. I like having these, a uh, little bit of uh, black bars at the end of this uh, coyote brush. You know, it kind of gives it a little more shrimpy feel. Uh, we're going to move to just a regular tan here in a minute. And uh, I feel like like having just these little slightly different colors of tan also help it kind of look like there's segmentation in this fly, just like there would be segmentation in a real shrimp. Cut that out of there. We'll take our botkin and we'll kind of just pick out some of these because we don't want any of these fibers trapped. Perfect. Go wrap back up on there. And now we're gonna go to our uh, three inch Foxy brush. This is just the regular tan. It still has some of the black bars on the uh, on the longer tan on these three inch brushes. Um, but once we move uh, to the 1.5 inch, you know, you really don't see as much black typically. But we'll do this, this kind of, uh, this almost acts as like legs or can like represent, you know, the head of a fly, uh, head of a shrimp really nicely. You know, it gives a little bit more waviness to the fly in the water as well. We'll tie that in. And again, we're gonna do only about three wraps of this brush. So you don't wanna use too much of this or else the fly starts to get too heavy on you. There's three. You wanna really make sure you're not capturing too many fibers here. So we'll kind of pull some of these out of the way with our botkin. And we'll tie this in here. So be careful not to just trap too many fibers. Long, messy stuff, so you gotta just play around with it some. And again, just like in the uh, step before, we'll take our Bach in and just kind of pick out any, any trap fibers here. I'll kinda make sure that's tied in well here. All right. And you can see kind of, these almost go to the end, but they're gonna be nice and wavy. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna give our shrimp some eyes. And these are the, uh, these are the mono eyes we sell on our website. It's pre-made, really cheap uh, eyes. You know, you're not gonna be spending a fortune on these things. And they're really, really well made. So we're gonna go ahead and line two pairs of eyes up. We're going to measure it on the fly. We want it coming just about past the bend of the hook, but on the top part of the fly here. So that looks about good. We'll mark that with our fingers and then we'll come back with our pliers and we'll kind of bend in an L shape right where we wanted that tying point. We'll kind of mash down some of the mono after that. Now we've got two L shapes here. We know you now they'll both be the same exact spot when we tie them in. So we'll take the first one, we'll kind of angle it up here, and right where we crunched it with our uh, pliers, we'll start tying it in. We'll tie right down the uh, shank of the hook here a little bit to make sure that's tied in really well. And that's one eye in there, so we can cut out this excess. Now we'll get the other eye. Like I said, we'll tie in right on the same spot. 
right where we started to crunch it with the uh, pliers. And tie right up the hook shank and get it tied in there nice and tight. All right, so then we're gonna give a couple wraps right on the inside of each one, just make sure they kind of splay up, you know, make sure they're splayed out enough. That seems good. And now you can see our eyes are right in line with each other. I mean, that should be pretty much dead even. And it's starting to really get that shrimpy look to it. Now we can go back to our uh, foxy brush. This is the tan 1.5 inch uh, foxy brush. And we're gonna basically wrap this brush all the way to the front of the head here. So we'll get it tied in right in front of our eyes. And if you go look at this fly on like EP's website, they don't use the foxy brush here. They use, a, uh, they use the one inch tarantula brush. I like the foxy brush just because it kind of matches the color. The, the tan tarantula brush doesn't match this as well. So we're gonna uh, just palmer this foxy brush in. You're gonna probably use about half this foxy brush getting to the head of the fly here. You know, you can make this as as dense or as uh, tight as you, you know, as dense or as loose as you want it. I like, I like making it decently dense you know, that way this, this shrimp ends up pushing good water when you're stripping it. You're going to take away a little bit of this material here in a second as well. So don't, uh, don't worry if it looks too bushy on you. So we're going to go all the way to the head. Kind of get some of these fibers out of our way. And we'll tie this brush in. And then we'll kind of fold everything back. And we'll create a little bit of a head on this fly. And give it a whip finish. So as you can see right now, it looks kind of bushy. I mean, you could, you could totally fish this fly as it is right now. But we like to make our flies look really neat. So the first thing we're going to do is kind of Hit the back end here with the lighter and make sure we didn't trap any fibers. Then we're going to come back with our Bakken again. We're going to pick out that tan 1.5 inch brush. Make sure we get all these fibers kind of picked out of there. If you got a small comb, it'll work too, but sometimes it's hard to get that comb really in there. So. Again, fish it just like that and you'd be fine, but it still looks a little um, unruly there. So now I'm gonna get this little uh, razor here. This is a little razor tool for helping bend your razor from uh, Stefano. Uh, love this tool, it makes it just so much easier because you can, you know, whatever you wanna set your uh, razor to, you can have it just perfect. And all we're gonna do is just slowly go around this fly and this is gonna just give us the perfect little body shape this tool is just amazing for keeping the uh, the shape that you want as you go around the fly. You know, obviously you can hold the the razor yourself, but it's kind of hard to, you know, as you go around, just keep that same angle. So as we go around it, just blow some of the uh, material we don't need off of there. Just go nice and slow. You don't have to take a you don't have to take a ton off at a time. You know, this tool works great if you were to, you know, if you're doing a head like this with, uh, with deer hair, deer belly, something like that. I mean, this this tool pays for itself. It's it's pretty expensive. I think this tool's like thirty dollars. Um, you know, pretty expensive for what it is, but you know, ultimately, it gives you a nice little result here. So. 
We'll do our initial cut with that, and then we'll just come back with our scissors and kind of rotate the fly and get any, uh, any little stragglers. So you can see that body looks much, much cleaner now, much more kind of shrimp shape. The last thing we're gonna do is just take a little bit of loon flow and get it right on our thread wraps here. So we like to make nice durable flies that aren't gonna ever come apart on you. We'll hit that with our UV light. And that's it. I mean, if you got a couple a little more stragglers, you can always come in here with your uh, with your scissors. You can come in there with your Stefano brush again, or uh, your Stefano tool again, and hit it with the razor. But that's the uh, that's the tarpon shrimp. So, like I said, great great little uh, shrimp imitation. Uh, it's kind of got that uh, tarpon toad vibe to it. But you know, you could definitely throw this at uh, anything from tarpon, snook, redfish, sea trout. Will eat this. I mean, great little pattern, nice and light, tons of movement. I mean, there's nothing about this fly that's not going to do, that's not going to uh, move greatly. Like I said, with the head, this is a uh, foxy brush, but the original pattern's tied with the uh, tarantula. So the tarantula probably will hold a little less water if you want the fly to be lighter and kind of uh, ride a little higher. Plus, it's got those little legs that stick out of it. But uh, I like the uh, I like the fox version. I like having all that fox, you know, slight little color variations going from back to front. You know, great fly and uh, yeah, pretty easy to tie. So give it a try and uh, you know, get out there and uh, and fish it and see how you do with the tarpon. So, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a good one.